<laughs> oh my gosh, stop. <laughs> Dang, you went and printed those? I think, they, I, after last week, they were I told you, so I, I was, I tried to put them last, last night, and it didn't work out, so. Also, Kendra, I am <laughs> not wear maroon. Oh, I do appreciate that. Yeah, that kind of would have been bad timing. <laughs> <laughs> Second thing is last night, just an opening statement from Coach and then questions from the players. Oh, okay. Um, awesome season for Trinity. I uh, have a lot of respect for Coach Hill and the, the job that he's done there with their program. They have really, really good basketball players, and they're so smart on the court. Uh, so just congrats to them on a great season. Um, it's always a battle when we play them. And um, they had a, a, a lot of adversity this year. And the way that they responded and just kept fighting through it is, is admirable. So um, just overall, a lot of respect for those guys. Uh, really had a lot of fun um, in our gym with our crowd, with our girls playing the way that they played. I mean, they were just incredible. We, we, we started a little slow. Um, and missed a few shots early, but like, uh, like these girls know and are capable of doing, they went on about a four or five three-point run there that kind of got us all going, got the crowd really into it. Um, but if you, you know, if you like points, that's what you're thinking about. But what we noticed and what we were talking to them about was the last five-minute segment of the first quarter, we held them to two points. And then each five-minute segment of the second quarter, we held them to four points each. Um, so we were celebrating our made shots, but honestly, it was our defense that was really getting us going and, and getting it done. So super impressed with how the girls responded and adjusted all game long. All right, Coach. This win has got to be special on multiple levels. <clears throat> You've lost to Trinity each of the last two years. The other loss in the program to Trinity in the NCAA tournament you're also familiar with. It seems to me, from a, from a perspective of someone coming in the last two weekends, this team, this program has really exercised some things that they needed to get out the way at home. And, and now, like, you guys just shot up. I, I'm curious how you, how you view it. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I, I've had so much faith and confidence in this group. There, We have four super seniors that – um, they just play at a very, very high level, and they're pulling some of our underclassmen up along with them. Um, so, yes, you know, this was an interesting matchup, one that we've seen the last two years and that, um, as you are referring to, ended my career in 2003. So thank you for rehashing that. Appreciate it. Um, so it was really fun to face them and to have a chance for a little bit of redemption there. Um, so, yeah, it was, it was a great time, great environment again. I can't shout out our fans enough, our student section and our, our Cowboy Club fans and our parents. I mean, they all showed up. And it. I, I, you can ask these guys, but I'm sure it helped them on the court. That, well, I think that's something we're all interested in from each of the players. It, it was so loud. <laughs> I, I have a feeling that Trinity had a hard time communicating down there. I'm curious how much that noise, and you guys noticed it during all those five-minute segments that Coach talked about in the first half. We'll start with Paris. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think we got used to it just because we had the conference tournament here. And so I remember last year when we hosted the, I think it was the conference tournament against UTD, it kind of hurt us because we were, we were rattled. We weren't used to it. And so learning from last year, hosting again, having a big crowd, we got all the rustiness out of the way. And we, it was starting to build us. And every single time, we would shoot a three. Everyone in the gym had faith in us. And even if we missed it, the next three still had faith in us. And I think that just really built our confidence and knew that they were supporting us no matter what. Yeah, I would take not being able to hear coach or my teammates any day with a crowd like that. Um, and I think even, you know, I'm dribbling the ball up the court and I'm asking them what play we're running, like as a point guard. But um, we play so well together. We don't necessarily, you know, always need to run a play. Um, we have really great movement and just drive and kick and drive and kick. And we have, um, we work so well together that, I mean, the energy from the crowd definitely fueled us and hit big shots because of it. Yeah, I'll just speak to that also. I think it speaks a lot to our experience and just how well we play with each other. Like Anna is saying, we, even if no play is called, we can see Anna dribbling and we'll just know what play we're in, even though we can't hear anything. But 
I think also in years past, we've played in very big environments, either at Trinity or even here when we've hosted the national tournament in the past. And so I think our experience has really prepped us for hosting the tournament this year. You know, Coach, you talked about those five-minute segments and kind of where the, the student body came in handy was two, three shot clock violations where you couldn't really hear anything even standing under the bucket when when the student body is able to be that six man for you, what type of difference does that make, especially in a, a high pressure situation like the NCAA tournament? Oh, it's huge. And, you know, when somebody asks you if you want to go on the road or host, I mean, this is a no brainer. You want to host. And especially if you have what we have here at Harden Simmons, um, not everybody has a student section that's going to come out like this and be as involved. So we're really grateful and thankful that we do. Um, I can think of one in particular where they had no idea that they were at zero. And it, it definitely was a credit to the, to the crowd and the students behind us. Um, so that we, we love it. We're thankful for it. Um, but now we'll take our show on the road. Uh, yeah, Samantha, you know, 14 three-pointers for y'all tonight. You had four of them. Yeah, the three-point shooting has been key for y'all all year. It's partially why you're y'all are the highest scoring offense in the country. What clicked so well, though, with the ball movement to really get into positions where you were taking those open threes, especially in the corners? Yeah, I think a lot of it has to do with our confidence right now. These last few games, we've been shooting it really well, especially being at home, too. That helps. But right now, we're just we're having so much fun, and we're moving the ball really well, and we are just know each other so well. We know exactly where we're going to be, where we're going to be cutting, where we're going to be open. And so I think just knowing each other, and then we're just having fun, having confidence. We're just going to be confident to shoot it whenever <laughs> we get the ball. Parrish, you're one of the few Harden-Simmons players to ever hit 1,500 points. And how special was it to get it tonight in front of the home crowd, especially knowing that you're probably heading to NYU next? Uh, it's really incredible. It's nice to have it here at home when I am just feel real loved and all the fans are here to support me. And thanks to these guys for getting me the ball and continuing to be confident in me. But I think I have a little bit of an advantage because I've been here five years. So <laughs> I don't know how much that goes into it. Coach, I, I would like for you to take a moment to speak on Paris and what she's meant to this program. And she's going to go down in legendary status as a player, as you have as well, and what you've seen from her and the growth from her over the years. Well, this was something I've already thought about talking to her about in our end of the year meeting, but I'll just go ahead and say it publicly. Um, she is probably the most well-rounded, dynamic player that's ever come through Harden Simmons. Um, so, yes, yeah, she can score, but she can guard one through five. She sees the floor and can assist. I mean, I scored some points here, but I, I couldn't pass it, you know, and I couldn't guard the way that she can guard. You know, she could guard the point guard or she can go down and guard the five, and um, she can get back in transition if she's going to take a charge, too, and, and make big plays when you need them. So, I mean, just an incredible leader and person, and that's why also she's successful on the court. But very impressive career. <laughs> Thank you. Parrish, your, your thoughts off what Coach said, that, that is incredible praise. It means a lot. Thank you. It's been fun five years, and you've allowed me to just be confident in myself. And even though I am really hard on myself sometimes, you just continue to, to pour into me, and I appreciate that. And thank you for putting me in situations to grow. So I can't wait to be a GA next year. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. She's not getting rid of me. I'm hanging around. Anna, for you, being a transfer, I, I think this is your first year, if I'm not mistaken here. Correct. To, to come from the North e or Northwest <laughs> um, and, and come by way of Colorado, to, to get to be immersed in the West Texas way and, and really get to embody, you know, the, the whole spirit of what it means to be a cowgirl and, as everybody knows, OCWM. <laughs> What what has that meant to you coming in and getting to be a part? Give him a good yeehaw, yeah. Anna. Yeehaw! <laughs> <laughs> no, it's been incredible, and um, I definitely felt like at the time maybe was taking a little bit of a chance coming from Oregon and then Colorado to all the way to Abilene, Texas. I mean, back in March I couldn't even pronounce Abilene correctly, <laughs> um, but obviously like knew about Hardin Simmons and knew about the program and the success it had, and I couldn't be more grateful and have had made a better choice to come here. Um, this is the perfect place for me and 
incredible family that I have here and even my parents say like they've never met more welcoming people in West Texas like everyone downstairs is wanting to give you a big hug after games and say congratulations um, and it's so incredible and I am so grateful to be able to finish my career here at Harden Simmons. Coach, that 27-8 run in the second quarter to really <coughs> send y'all into halftime up by a good amount. How key was that? And you talk about the, the offense, but also defensively. And you spoke to it a little bit earlier, but it, forcing those turnovers and really getting Trinity out of rhythm helped you all as you headed into the second half, too, in terms of the momentum. Right. Very specifically, uh, Trinity obviously shoots the three very well. So we talked about, hey, we, we need to force them to go one-on-one -on, -one on you, and you guys got to guard your yard. We're not going to give up a bunch of threes. Early in the game, they were hitting us on some backdoor cuts, and so I challenged the girls at the first five-minute media to see their girl and, and uh, find them at the basket, and they did that. I mean, it was just so incredible to watch them um, lock down. They were switching everything and aggressively, and it made it really hard for Trinity to find an open look. Um, and so then that, you know, in turn led to some offensive opportunities. Uh, we, we get out and run. We, we didn't push just a whole lot against them today. Uh, but what we started to do was settle in, and we saw what they were doing, sealing the gaps, and we were able to penetrate, get into the paint. And so the paint touches led to kickouts, and then we ultimately hit the threes. And those two things combined for um, a little bit of a lopsided quarter. Okay, Coach. What point in the game – did you actually allow yourself to take that deep breath <clears throat> and go, wow, we hit. Never. <laughs> <laughs> the last 30 seconds, <laughs> wait, maybe, when I sub these guys out. <laughs> One more. Uh, yeah, and lastly, I mean, I guess just you guys obviously have had this consistency, this success um, in the NCAA tournament, and, and we saw it last week with the ASC tournament, playing these must-win situations having these fifth-year seniors and experienced players on the floor for you, how key has that been? I think people probably underestimate it at times, you know, that um, their, their time on the court. So they're not just fifth years, but they've played a lot. They played a lot as freshmen, and even this one played a lot as a freshman at Colorado. So um, that adds up even more than, than what some other teams have. So, you know, and, and, you know, it grows as you go. I mean, these guys, their confidence grows with every game, and even still as fifth years. And, and, and so watching that happen and watching them grow in that way has been very, very rewarding for me uh, because it's also really led to success. And, and they're having a lot of fun. I mean, we talked about I put keys on the board every game. In the last two games, um, I put enjoy it as our last key because it's just an incredible experience they'll look up and they will have been done with basketball for 20 years and they're still going to remember running out there in front of that huge crowd and what that felt like um, because i that's i remember that stuff and they're going to remember their times with their teammates they're going to remember uh, however the rest of this tournament plays out and and so i'm really happy that we had a great time here and uh, i'm so happy to, to watch them having fun absolutely it's good Appreciate it. Thank you, Coach. Congratulations. 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 Congratulations.